Las Vegas is truly the best holiday location in the world, but if you've never been before, booking it may be a little bit intimidating. So join me as I show you all the tips and tricks of how to book your Las Vegas trip, including all of the things to see in the American Southwest. Oh, Las Vegas, what a place. Fantastic holiday. But can be a little bit intimidating the first time you go, so this is a bit of a help for you. It's 12 nights in Vegas and beyond. So why beyond? Well, if you've traveled all the way to the southwest of America, you may as well do a little bit, have a road trip, see the Grand Canyon maybe. But first of all, the first four nights, let's stay on the strip. And you can see all of the things that you really need to do. The Bellagio Fountain is there. Wonderful, wonderful entertainment opportunities on the strip. And uh, don't forget, this will be the most expensive. £100 per night plus resort fee, we think. MGM Grand. The Caesars Palace and the Venetian will be certainly the most expensive places there. My recommendation would be Treasure Island Mid Strip or the Stratosphere right at the north, or even better than that, the Palace Station off strip, but it has a really good uh, shuttle. After four nights on the strip, get out on the road. And then first of all, go south, south uh, past Henderson, you want to go to the Hoover Dam, about an hour out of Las Vegas. And again, this is the start of your road trip. The Hoover Dam, not to be missed, spectacular. It was built in the Depression makes Las Vegas possible by its power and water. After that, head down to Kingman, then across on I-40, a little bit further on. Why not go to Williams? Now Williams, a real Route 66 experience. It is very much uh, a Western experience again. So have some ribs, have a burger. It is very much the gateway to the Grand Canyon. And there you can get a really inexpensive motel. And you're seeing some examples here. Uh, it is uh, just off the motorway, so lots of choice. After that, the next day, I'm always really surprised it's an alpine scene as you approach it from the south. There's a south entrance, so you'll pay your money and then drive upwards towards the south rim. Lots of ex experiences on the south rim, including some exhibitions, there we go. And then straight out of the door, look at that. One of the most spectacular sights I've ever seen in my life. And uh, it really needs no introduction. The Grand Canyon is absolutely not to be missed. So what are you doing after that? Well, you could go back to Vegas, that's five hours away, or you could just stay in Williams maybe, that's just down the road. Why not do what I do? Halfway house, go to Laughlin, Nevada, just on the uh, Arizona-Nevada border. It is very much a relaxed casino environment. 50% cheaper than Vegas. Uh, we're gonna be here on the Friday and the Saturday, staying on the Colorado River. Lots of glitz and glamour, glamour but a really more relaxed version of it. Two nights then and it is back to Vegas and of course you can go back to the Las Vegas Strip if that's what you want but my advice would be to try a Locals Casino. Now the Sunset Station is my favourite and the Locals Casino is an opportunity to just spend the time by a pool, have a go at gambling in a far more relaxed environment. A few examples there. The Downtown Casino would be another option and that's, that's the Fremont Street experience that you can see there. And there are some other local casinos on the Boulder Strip. There is a video about this and you can see it there being the link. Now one of the key things to remember, Sunday arrival. Arrive in Las Vegas on a Sunday. Hotel casinos in Las Vegas are so expensive on a Friday, Saturday, avoid that all cost. So we've seen not only the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas but also part of the southwest of America as well, the Grand Canyon, the Hoover Dam and really had a road trip. This has been Las Vegas on a budget. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, I'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell. If you do that, you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this.